Welcome to Inside Monster Jam, powered by Lucas Oil, the official Monster Jam podcast. I'm Scott Jordan. The sport is buzzing after the release of the 2024 schedule announcement. So let's dive right into that and go to the Great Clips hotline to welcome in Lucas Stabilizer, Cynthia Gautier. Cynthia, welcome to Inside Monster Jam. Thanks for joining me. How you doing? Very good. Thanks for having me. It's the second time. <laughs> Absolute pleasure. Welcome back. So a lot of talk right now about you and your truck. You were announced on Stadium Championship Series East, but I do believe we have some breaking news, and I'm going to hand that off to you <laughs> to address the fans to talk about your plans for 2024. Big, big announcement for me. Um, I will not be competing this first quarter. Uh, I'm kind of a little bit sad, but it's a good good reason. I'm actually pregnant, so I, I will have a baby right during first quarter. So I will have to uh, give away the torch to somebody else. Uh, it's really exciting for me. I've been wanting to be a mom for a long time. Uh, it's definitely a challenge because, uh, you know, you're in the sport. Uh, I've been working for eight years. Um, to be where I am right now. And uh, it is a challenge for me to not be competing, but I will come to a couple of the competition. Uh, my boyfriend will be doing the dirt crew uh, on that same tour I am. So I will be jumping to a couple of shows like Syracuse, probably Tampa. So I will be there. But yeah, so a lot of people are wondering who is going to be filling in for me. Um, it's uh, definitely something I was the only driver who drive the Lucas stabilizer. So it is a big thing, I think, to uh, pass the torch. Um, so do you have an idea, Jordan? Uh, I, I do. I do an idea. As, as the host of the show, I, I am uh, given some information here. Uh, but first of all, congratulations to you. That's amazing. And welcome to the uh, parents fraternity that we have here. You're going to be an amazing mom. I, I told you off air that you're glowing now, which is a, a beautiful sign and a beautiful thing. So congratulations. Um, a, as you mentioned, though, Lucas Stabilizer will continue to run. Yeah. So we do have an announcement as to who will join the team and fill in for you first quarter of 20. 24 so i'm gonna do a drum roll here on the desk and uh i'm gonna let you announce who will be driving lucas stabilizer on stadium championship series east so like i said it was not an easy choice but uh i think we have the perfect fit for this it's gonna be lindsay reed uh, i think she is perfect to fill in for me uh we're kind of the same driving style and uh, i mean she's a champion of world you know, final a couple of years ago. So I know she can do it. Uh, it's not going to be easy. This store is stacked of good driver, um, but I got to be cheer for her. Um, she's excited too. Uh, she's our whole family Ray. So Lucas is super excited to have her. Um, so like I said, I'll be cheering for her. I think the fact that she's a mom, uh, she's actually been the first driver I actually announced uh, that I was pregnant. So, uh, you know, we have that special connection connection me and her so i'm super excited she'll be filling for me and uh, i will be back though in 2024 probably for the summer but i will be back well, we can't wait to have you back. Uh, it, and that's a huge deal. You go from one world finals champion in yourself to another world champion in Lindsay Reed. Uh, it's it's obviously a different truck for her, different yeah. sight points, different vision. Yeah. Any advice you have for Lindsay to take over Lucas Stabilizer? Uh, you, you've driven a dog truck before, Monster Mutt Dalmatian, so a little similar to Scooby Doo. But what what transition would you expect her to make here to be able to drive successfully, Lucas Stabilizer? So I actually had a phone call with her a couple of days ago about it. Uh, the truck is different. It's different chassis than all the other truck. So I did tell her to make sure she was comfortable because uh, the truck, your seat is a little bit higher in the truck. So you have to make sure, you know, you can reach the pedal really good and you're comfortable. And like you said, the vision is different a little bit. Uh, on the Lucas stabilizer, you don't see really good on the bottom. Um, so you have to make sure you see really good, you know, on the top uh, of the hood. Uh, so that's something she's going to get used to it. And uh, she's excited. It's a challenge for her. Um, so I think it's she's going to do great. Uh, she's drove a Montima Dalmatian Galaxy for me uh, before I drove it. So I think we already have, like, like I said, the connection, and uh, it's going to be awesome. We got about a minute left to wrap up with you, so uh, I, I want to ask you this here. Do you know what you are, what you're having, boy or girl? Is it something you want to keep a secret or a surprise or what? Actually, it is a surprise for me. I don't even know yet. Um, I've been kind of like working really hard right now. I still have a lot of projects going on, 
So uh, I've been not really want to know. I'll probably find out in a month or two. Uh, I'll probably do a reveal on uh, my social media. So stay tuned. Um, but um, yeah, I'm excited. But my boyfriend is definitely super excited. Uh, he will be on tour, like I said. He's the one in the loader that usually put me back on four wheel. So uh, he said, it's going to be weird for me to flip your truck upside down, uh, but it's not going to be you in it. But uh, he's super excited. He's su I mean, he loves Lindsay driving style. So I think uh, she's going to do good. All I told her is, I know you can do a top three this year. I mean, there's some good driver. Last year, we got top five. This year, top three. So I was like, go all in. It's a stack tour, and a lot of spotlight eyes are going to be on her. Cynthia, so happy for you. Best of luck to you. We look forward to seeing you down the road, and thanks for coming on. Thanks for having me. You got it. Up next, we will hear from the newly minted driver of Lucas Stabilizer. Lindsay Reed is next on Inside Monster Jam, powered by Lucas Oil. Welcome back to Inside Monster Jam, powered by Lucas Oil. I'm Scott Jordan, and we are going to go back to the Great Clips hotline to welcome in the new driver of Lucas Stabilizer, Lindsay Reed. Lindsay, Cynthia just broke the news that you were filling in and taking over Lucas Stabilizer. First of all, welcome to the show. Thanks for coming on. And second, how excited are you to be going back to a stadium series in Lucas Stabilizer? Well, thank you for having me. First and foremost, I am so pumped up. You know, stadiums to me are a whole nother ball game. You know what I mean? Arenas, it's more technical, but stadiums, you have all the room in the world to do anything that you want to do. Um, I think it's going to be an amazing opportunity to be in Lucas Stabilizer. Cynthia has already paved the way for me. You know, she has put that truck at the top. She has wild freestyles and she really proved herself in that truck this past year. So I feel like I have a lot of pressure going into next year. You know, I don't want to let her down. I don't want to let Lucas down. I think that it's going to be a ton of fun. Me and Cynthia spoke a lot already. She's pumped that I'm going to be in the seat, and I know she's going to be there along the whole journey with me. Well, you've handled pressure very well for your entire career. I know driving Scooby-Doo, it, it's, you know, a, a huge IP and one of the biggest, most beloved television and movie figures of all time. And you handle that brand very well. But now, as you mentioned, Lucas, uh, you know, obviously the title sponsor of this show. So we love Lucas here. And, and a lot of eyeballs now are going to go back to you with this beautiful truck that is is still you know in, in the brand new stages so is this a different level of pressure for you because now you don't have fans coming in that are scooby-doo fans that you know love the dog and love the truck and automatically flock to you but now you have more racer enthusiast fans that use lucas products that are coming in so where does that level of pressure land on your radar uh, it's definitely like way way up here <laughs> it's not even in the screen anymore but uh i i think i'm ready for it i'm i'm pumped up uh like i said I really think that Cynthia is going to back me the whole time. I know that she's pregnant and she's got a lot going on at home, but she has spoke with me and told me that she really wants to help me just make this truck be at the next level. You know, we want to take it out there and just show everybody what Lucas Stabilizer is all about. So I'm going to go out there each and every time and try my hardest as I always do, make new fans, make new friends, and really just get this truck out there and be known to everybody that when we hit the track, you know, we're going to be ones to look out for, for sure. I asked her about the vision with Lucas Stabilizer, comparing it to what you might experience in Scooby-Doo. Now, you've both driven Monster Mutt Dalmatians before, so she knows what you see and you know what she sees as well. But she said the vision underneath is, is not great in Lucas Stabilizer. So what does that challenge mean for you coming back into a stadium series? That is definitely going to be something that's going to be a curveball. Um she did tell me that it's limited, and right now I am really spoiled with Scooby-Doo because the windshield is huge. I can see out the front. I can see out the bottom. So it really helps a lot, a lot in racing. You know, you can see where the turns are at. You can see exactly what you're going to do. So with this, I think it's going to be a lot more of the technical side of maybe going out and walking the track a little bit more and getting more familiar where each and every jump is going to be at and where I need to be out on that track. So that way when I get in the truck, Maybe my vision will be a little bit limited, but I'll know in my mind exactly where everything is going to be at. So when I get out there, I don't get lost out on the track and I know exactly where I'm going to go, 
what I want to hit and how I want to accomplish it. You were with me for uh, Monster Jam Game Night, which uh, just aired, where we announced the lineup for 2024. Obviously, uh, lineups always subject to change, which is relevant right here. So you haven't had a whole lot of time between now and then to kind of digest who you're competing against, but you're going to be on the basic Tom Mintz retirement tour. Uh, so that has to be pretty cool for you, for, for a, a guy that inspired you to be there as he competes in his final active year for Monster Jam. You know, that was one name that stood out to me the most when I watched the reveal. Uh, Tom Mintz has been there since day one for me. You know, I went through Monster Jam University with him. He's taught me so much of how to do in these trucks, along with everybody else. You know, all these new drivers that you see come up, they all went through Monster Jam University with him. And he's so patient with everybody on how to do things. So I think it's going to be really great to be able to be out there with him and see him on the retirement tour. I know that he'll give me a ton of advice on what to do out there. Even though he's my competitor, he still wants to see all of us just come up and rise to the occasion and do great ourselves. So I think it's going to be really awesome. It's going to be a really hard tour. It's not just Tom out there that's hard. You know, we have uh, Tyler Minninga. He is I mean, shoot, he's a world finals champion now as well in the skills competition. And um, it, it's going to be great. I think I'm going to learn a lot. I, I like being on tour with new people and different people that I haven't competed with before because I get to watch them and really take, you know, tips off of how they drive and then kind of make it my own. And maybe I'll be a better driver by the end of this and I'll come out with new new tricks and new ideas to, to wow our Monster Jam fans. Well, you know who else is a World Finals champion? You, Lindsey Reed. You're <laughs> a World Finals champion. This is a stack lineup. Stay right where you are. We have more with Lucas Stabilizers. Lindsey Reed, when Inside Monster Jam, powered by Lucas Oil, returns. Welcome back to Inside Monster Jam, powered by Lucas Oil. This week, I'm joined by Lindsay Reed. Earlier in the show, Cynthia Gautier announced she is stepping away from Lucas Stabilizer for 2024. Lindsay is taking over. And uh, Lindsay, big, big moment here for you. You've had a lot of big moments in your career. Uh, we go back to the World Finals Championship. We go back to Monster Mutt Dalmatian Galaxy, which was a huge thing. We go back to Stadium Championship Series with you helping bring Monster Jam back after the pandemic. Where does driving Lucas Stabilizer Stabilizer right now rank on your career moments you know each and every one of them have like a special part in my in my life in my career um I definitely would have to say this is going to be second okay the Monster Jam World Finals in 2019 is something that is going to be really hard to top going out there and winning the showdown moving on to the main field and then winning freestyle is just something I never thought was ever going to happen in my career, but this is huge to me. Lucas Stabilizer. It is my daughter's absolute favorite truck right now, so the timing couldn't have been better. She is super pumped for me to go out there and represent this new truck, and I really think that we're going to bring a lot to the table. You know, Cynthia has gone out there. She's paved the way, but I'm ready to take it from here and just go out there and show everybody what I can do with this truck and hopefully get it to the top. Let's talk about your family. You're now a mother of two. You've stepped away twice now to expand your family. Uh, I, I I was talking to our producers off here about how much I admire what you and Jared do and bringing your family on the road, how I wish I could do that. I think it, it's a beautiful thing to be able to share that with them. But now your your daughter is getting a little more involved in, in racing. And uh, I, I did see a clip uh, where your daughter blew John Sapinero out of the water with announcing you. Uh, so we might have a new change in announcers next year. But let's talk about your family and, and how cool it is to have your, your daughters here with you, your husband coming out with you. It's, it's got to be special for you. It really is. It's it's such an unbelievable thing that they get to go and do this with me. If it weren't for my husband and this crazy journey that we're going on in life, you know, we wouldn't be able to do this. He really does love what I do and he loves that we can be a part of this as a family. And when they go on the road, it's so much fun. Now my six-year-old is old enough where she really understands everything. She learns all of the drivers, all of the trucks. And I'm telling you, you guys better watch out because she's coming, okay? She really wants to be a host. I see her in her room announcing everybody, and it's the cutest thing ever. She, but <laughs> she was already uh, way above John Sapinaro's level when I saw the clip, so, I mean, it's already over. 
<laughs> we practice a lot, so she is ready for it. But, uh, you know, she knows no different. She started going with me when she was four months old, as well as Carson did. And they just love it. They eat it up and they're all about it. They love that Monster Jam is a huge family thing. And the fact that every time we go to an event, Dakota gets to be on the mic and she gets to talk and, and just announce me, be there for my wins. And the whole nine yards is so great to me. I absolutely love it. And now that she's seen me go out there and, you know, inspire little boys and little girls, she's doing the same thing. I know she's only six years old, but she goes to the racetrack and she races go-karts now and she's already moved up. She's in junior one now. She's in the next level um, of competition where there's way more technical things that she has to do and there's way more pressure on her being six. So she always tells everybody when she's done racing, she's like, I did that for all you little boys and you little girls out there. <laughs> I'm thinking this kid pays attention way too much to the stuff that we all say. And yeah. uh, I think it's really cool because she's already trying to inspire younger kids than her to go out there and pursue their dreams. And she's doing it. She's nailing it. She already got a ride for the Tulsa shootout coming up at the end of December, the beginning of next year. So that's a huge opportunity for her. We're already looking at getting her sponsors and doing all of these great things. And, you know, speaking of Cynthia Gautier, she actually sponsored Dakota for it. So she's a part of it. We have Kay Young, the host for Monster Jam, that's a part of it. Bailey Shea and Monster Mutt Dalmatian, she joined in too. So it's kind of a girl power thing. They all love her. They all being like being around her. So now they want to see her pursue her dreams and help out as much as they can. So uh, I can't thank my Monster Jam family enough for everything that they do for me and my family and all of the great things that we have to walk away from this at the end of the day. Well, if you ever want to add a little guide power to that, I'd, I'd love to be a part of that. Um, <laughs> I might be a reference to you is it, when you look at other sports, so like Major League Baseball, for instance, you have these amazing utility players, utility infielders, outfitters that make the all-star games that are the heart and soul of what a team does. I, I liken you to that because you, you seem like when Monster Jam needs somebody to step up, it's you, okay? You've been the face of Scooby-Doo for years, which is a huge brand there with Warner Brothers. When we needed Spin Masters, Monster Mutt, uh, Dalmatian Galaxy, Lindsey Reed gets the call. When we need somebody on the Stadium Championship Series to bring Monster Jam back, Lindsey Reed gets the call. When we need somebody in an arena, when we need somebody at stadium, when we need somebody to come down and humor me for Monster Jam game night, Lindsey Reed gets the call. Now when we need Lucas Stabilizer filled, Lindsey Reed gets the call. That is a pretty solid role to be in to be a driver that this company can look to to fill any role and to know that no matter what role you're in arena stadiums whatever truck you're going to be successful how do you feel about that at this stage of your career um i think that you need to go with me to every weekend and pump me up because that was <laughs> like the that. most <laughs> the most motivational <laughs> speech i think i've ever heard about myself in my career and uh, i'm speechless i it really is an honor and it's great. I think that it's so cool that I can be all of these things for Monster Jam. And, you know, I try really hard in everything that I do. I, I put, I go all in every time and I'm glad that it's noticed. And I'm glad that people see that I try that. And I'm super pumped to get back on a stadium. When we brought Monster Jam back after COVID, it was a stacked lineup. That was very hard for me. And, and going into a field like that, I almost felt every weekend like I was just getting outshined by everybody, but I feel like now I'm ready to go out there and I'm ready to prove myself and I'm ready to drive super hard and, and get my name out there even more than it already is and, and really make a stamp and put a mark even more on Monster Jam with, with what I have and what I think I still have left to bring to the table. Yeah, I think this uh, is a huge opportunity for you to really solidify and cement yourself as an even bigger star than you already are. I'm happy to go out and hype you up anywhere you go. But coming up next, your fan questions will be asked to Lindsay Reed. So stick around. More Inside Monster Jam, powered by Lucas Oil, is next. Welcome back to Inside Monster Jam, powered by Lucas Oil. I'm joined this week by Lucas Stabilizer driver, Lindsey Reed. And right now, it is time for your fan questions. You can be involved in the conversation every week by following me on Instagram at ScottJordanMJSX. Let's get right to it, Lindsey. 
Brennan Jopp wants to know, with your daughter Dakota already competing in dirt track racing, as far as in the future, how awesome would it be to eventually see her follow in your footsteps in Monster Jam? That would be epic. <laughs> like you just said, you know, I feel like I have a lot to bring to the table with Monster Jam, but let me tell you, Dakota is my mini-me to the T. So you guys know exactly what you're going to get if she comes out here. Um, she talks about it all the time. She always says what she would do out on the track and how she would do it and how cool it would be to be able to follow in my footsteps and do this as well. So she's got a long road ahead of her, but you know what? I think that she would be ready. So as soon as she's 18, y'all better watch out because she's going to hit that track and do things with that truck that I probably am never going to be able to do in my career. This girl is so ridiculously talented at her age, and I, I can't wait to see what the future holds for her. Well, if she's not out there on the track, maybe she'll be here at this desk hosting uh, Inside Monster Jam. She'll probably do a bit of both. Sky, sky's <laughs> the limit. Uh, Mike Trapper 04 wants to know, what's your favorite Scooby-Doo movie or show? I like all of them. I don't think that I have a favorite. I, me and my daughter watch it all the time, and all of them have a, a fun quirk about them. Yeah, me too. I'm a huge Scooby-Doo fan from day one. All right. Uh, Boy Divisionary wants to know, if you weren't a Monster Jam driver, what do you think you'd be doing? Man, that's a tough one. I feel like this has been my whole life for so long. Um, definitely something that has to do with racing. I think that if I were to step away from Monster Jam right now, I would probably just go full bore with my daughter racing. And uh, I'd be her manager. That's what I would do. I, I would help go. her out. Because, <laughs> you know, right now I'm already helping her um, when it comes to social media when it comes to learning how to do interviews and things along that nature. So I think I have a lot to offer the younger generation in feeling comfortable in stepping into a role like this. So even maybe helping as far as the media aspect, media training, you know, showing them what to do, what not to do and how to do it right. I like all of that. It, what a day of celebrations it has been. We're celebrating Lindsay Reed piloting Lucas Stabilizer, Cynthia Gautier expanding her family, and I'm celebrating NSYNC reuniting at the MTV VMAs. What a great day to be a Monster Jam fan it is. Lindsay, thank you so much for joining us. Best of luck to you in 2024 behind the wheel Lucas Stabilizer. Thanks. I can't wait to get started. It's going to be a great year, and so everybody, check it out. Hopefully I'll be at a city near you to where I can meet some new fans see some old ones and have a great time and we're having a great time each and every week here i'll see you next time on inside monster jam powered by lucas oil